Do you know one of the most counterintuitive things about success? Well, ask yourself, why is it that so many people want success? Well, they want success because it makes them feel good. But you know what's ironic? That to get to success, you have to embrace pain. And no doubt you've heard about this concept before, but what people don't realize is that the only way to get the life and lifestyle that people want is to really push themselves. Now, what happens when we push ourselves too hard? We're going to inevitably fall. And what happens when we fall? We experience pain. The thing is, a lot of people want to avoid the pain and that's why they will never get their success because pain is the opposite side of success. There was a story of a lady who had a daughter who could not feel pain because of a rare medical condition which prevented her from being able to feel any type of physical pain. And what's interesting is when they interviewed the mother, the mother said that I wish that my daughter could feel pain. Now, why would anybody want their child to feel pain? Because if you look at it from the surface, it feels like, wow, this person has an amazing life. They cannot experience any physical pain. Well, there is always a downside to everything and there is an upside to everything in life. And this particular girl, because she could not feel pain, if she had an itch in her eye, she would scratch it until it started bleeding. A lot of the time she would knock herself and you know, it bump into furniture or she would injure herself but not even realize because there was no pain response. Her nervous system was not giving her the signals. So that meant she kept injuring herself and her whole body was full of wounds and was full of scars and injuries. Be careful what you wish for. A lot of the times we feel that we don't want pain and pain is a bad thing. But pain is a fantastic vehicle for growth. Pain is the only way that we grow. If you feel that you have somehow avoided pain for a long period of time, and I mean mental pain, emotional pain, intellectual pain or financial pain, be careful. It may actually mean that you're headed downhill. Think about what hurts more when you're climbing a mountain or when you're coming down a mountain. Well, obviously it hurts a lot more when you're climbing a mountain. When you're coming down a mountain, you don't actually feel much pain. But guess what? That's because you're going downhill. So embrace pain. If you really want to become more successful and you're not happy with the results that you want, you're going to need to start seeing pain as your friend, not your enemy.